Hi everyone, I hope you're doing well. Today I will talk about how can I change my Joan Fiber Wi-Fi password. Configuration. Make sure your mobile phone or your computer is connected to the internet. You will need to be connected to the internet in order to access the router page by Wi-Fi or by Ethernet cable from your modem to your PC or laptop. Open a browser to access the router page. You can use Google Chrome, Internet Explorer, Mozilla Firefox or Safari from your iPhone. 1. Connect a device to your modem using an Ethernet cable or Wi-Fi. If Wi-Fi is protected by a password, you have to check the label on the bottom of the modem. 2. Open your web browser and type the default IP address in the address bar, 192.168.1.1.1. 3. You should now see the router login page with two text fields where you can type router's username and password. 4. The default username and password for your modem should be username, admin, password, admin, or Username, Admin, Password, Zone. 5. Click Sign In. And now you should see the control panel of the modem. When you log in, click Configuration at the left side of the page, then expand VLAN. 7. Under VLAN, click Settings. Eight, under VLAN network setup, click edit port defaults. Nine, enter default PVID as mentioned in the image and select ETHIAT0 as one uplink, then click apply char or save. Ten, after clicking Apply Start Save, you will be redirected back to the VLAN settings page. 11. In the VLAN settings page, click Add New VLAN. 12. In VLAN, name type any name 13 in vlan id type 1350 and make sure secure forwarding is enabled 14 select pppoe routed as the connection type then click apply save 15 after clicking apply save you will be redirected to the edit selected VLAN page. 16. Make sure the Fiber 1 ATH0 interface is O, while GE1 and GE2 should be U. Then click Save, Apply. 17. Expand interfaces at the left side of the page, then click PPPoE. 18. Select Created Interface, then click Edit, Selected Interface. 19. In Edit Selected Interface, make sure PPPoE is selected as Address Mode. 20. Make sure NAT is enabled then, under PPPoE configuration type Fiber username and password. 21. Select Auto Authentication, then click Save, Apply. 22. To configure wireless, click configuration at the left side of the page, then expand wireless. 23. Click on basic, then in the SSID text box, 
type Wi-Fi name, and click Apply, Just Save. You may need to connect your device to the new Wi-Fi name. Twenty-four. Click Security and make sure a predefined SSID is selected and network authentication is WPA2, PSK25. In WPA, WAPI, passphrase enter a Wi-Fi password and safest passwords are long and contain at least eight digits of mixed letters, numbers and symbols, 26. Once your changes are done, click Apply, Save. 